Holy Ghost, in this day and in this hour that we live and walk the earth, so do you. And so we worship you. And so we seek to know you. And we seek to walk with you as the living God who has graced us to be in this time. in heaven Jesus at his right hand the Holy Ghost Holy is God Ghost in the God earth today, the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstraut thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then Holy consider God becoming a partner today. with us Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 in the beginning do you have an idea what we're talking about yes. in the beginning what God in the beginning God now the Bible is a progressive revelation in the beginning God so right off the bat we know something that we didn't know before mm -hmm. that in the beginning before everything was God yes. in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the Spirit of God mm -hmm. say the Spirit of God. Spirit. Spirit of God so now we have an idea of who God is first he just said God and now he's beginning to add more revelation on top of who God is by saying the Spirit of God literally this says the Spirit God yes. the Spirit God moved upon the face of the water so now we can see the Spirit God moving mm -hmm. so he's alive he's doing something mm -hmm. who is he so so far what we know he's the Spirit God so God is a spirit say it God is a spirit right from the beginning the get-go God mm -hmm. is a spirit yes. he's a spirit God literally says that the spirit God moved then it goes on to say verse 3 and God said so here we've got God he's a spirit God and he says things yes and when he says things things happen right. say when he says things when he says things, things. Things, happen. things happen he is God he's a being mm -hmm. who is a spirit and he says things and then things happen mm -hmm. this is gonna matter in a minute he says things and things happen and then it goes on and just all these things he says so he's a spirit God who says things and the things he says happen now in review God he is a spirit he's the spirit God yes. and he says things literally that means he's a speaking spirit yes. he's a spirit that says things and when the things he says come out of his mouth those things happen well, the Holy Ghost said to me to tell you I am a spirit can you get that mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost is God he is a spirit say the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost is, God. is God he is a spirit, is a spirit. that's not too hard to understand no. he's the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. he's the Holy Spirit I am a spirit not a force not a power I say things and the force and power happens do you see that yes. is he a power is he a force is he an anointing no he's God he's a spirit that says things mm -hmm. and when he says things a force and power happens are you getting this yes well, I'm glad you are because most of the body of Christ has no idea they think the Holy Ghost is a force they think the Holy Ghost is a power no when he 
says things they happen when he anoints something it's anointed guess how the Holy Ghost anoints things got any ideas with words he says words and the words anoint he says I anoint you and what happens they're anointed are you getting this is he the anointing no he's a speaking spirit that says things and those things happen when he says I anoint then the anointing happens are you getting this but he's not the anointing mm -hmm. he's still God he's still the Spirit God yes. mm -hmm. God is a spirit mm -hmm. so get that straight he is not a tangible transferable substance anointing that's poured out rubbed on or otherwise stored like a battery in napkins Are you here this sounds ridiculous when once I've presented it the way that I did he is God he's a spirit he does not go into a napkin we know that the anointing is transferable when you you can lay your hands Paul did that he laid his hands on napkins and the anointing say the anointing the anointing, the anointing went into the napkin not the Spirit of God or the Spirit God he did not go into the napkin god does not dwell in napkins <laughs> no. are you here the holy ghost is not an anointing that's my point luke chapter 5 and verse 17 and it came to pass on a certain day as he was teaching that there were pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by which were come out of every town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem and the power of the Lord was present to heal them mm -hmm. Jesus was there mm -hmm. but it says the power of the Lord the power of who the Lord, the Lord was present to heal them this indicates that the power was not there other times yes. does that make sense yes. meaning the power was there not the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost was with Jesus but the power of the Holy Ghost was present to do healing work which would be an anointing mm -hmm. that would have come through the words that Jesus was saying I say unto thee arise take up thy couch and go th to thine house he said words and those words because they were anointed by the Holy Ghost caused the man to rise up and go away healed mm -hmm. are you here yes. so the power of who the Spirit Lord in fact Jesus knew this go back one chapter to Luke chapter 4 verse 18 the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me did Jesus know who anointed him yes. mm -hmm. Jesus knew say Jesus knew, Jesus knew. Who, anointed who anointed him did he know that the Holy Ghost was not the anointing yes, yes because the Holy Ghost is the one who anointed him Jesus knew the Spirit of God Jesus knew the Spirit God he knew that he was anointed by the Spirit God mm -hmm. you remember how we started this out Genesis God is a spirit mm -hmm. did Jesus know God is a spirit yes. did Jesus know Genesis chapter 1 yes. I think so John chapter 4 verse 24 God is a spirit what color letters are these who said them Jesus said them Jesus knew that God is a spirit he's telling you 
god is a spirit now that spirit would be the holy ghost the spirit of god the spirit god yes god is a spirit and they that worship him say they that worship him, they that worship they that him. Worship him. why does that sound so new to so many people if god is a spirit is god a spirit yes jesus said god is a spirit that's what we've been talking about he's the spirit lord and then jesus said they that worship him if jesus didn't want you to worship the holy ghost the spirit lord he should not have said that mm -hmm. so we have two phrases here three really but two i want to touch on the most the first is god is a spirit did we get that one straight god is a spirit who is this spirit god we're talking about holy, holy ghost, ghost. He, it's good for us because he's the one that's in the earth that we get to walk with he's the spirit god mm -hmm. say the holy ghost, holy ghost. Is, the is the spirit god god is a spirit and here's the second one they that worship him god is a spirit god mm -hmm. they that worship him so we have a subset of people who are the they we have a subset of people who are the they that worship him yes. him who the him the holy ghost the spirit god mm -hmm. is this in your bible god is a spirit and they that worship him this group of people that worship him are differentiated somehow from those who don't worship him That's right. they that don't worship him you know any of those <laughs> god is a spirit and they that worship him must they must worship him in spirit and truth it shows you how they should be worshiping him but we we need to get through those first th two phrases first mm -hmm. god is a spirit he is the holy ghost he's the spirit god and they that worship him that would be me that would be you say i'm a they, I'm a they. that worship him worship him. him who the Holy Ghost the Spirit God the Spirit Lord mm -hmm. are you here yes. the Holy Ghost said as I was writing down these things he said I am so pleased with you because no one is doing this you don't worship God the Spirit not once have I heard these words come out of your mouth I worship you Holy Ghost and that could be true of so much of the body of Christ they are not they that worship him say I worship you Holy Ghost, I worship you, Holy Ghost. you must they must worship him are you here yes. well you can't hear what I'm saying and stay put or stay where you're at you will be forced to make a choice either i'm of god sent with this message or i'm a complete heretic i'm comfortable with either one in your mind but either way i'm moving on and i intend to take you with me into all of the things of the spirit lord and that's a lot of things this glory of the spirit lord shall cover the earth that's a full world of awesome that's where we're going you know what matters to god is whether you worship him or not worship is often translated fear in the old testament especially fear the lord say fear the, lord. fear the lord worship the lord right yes. 
the fear of the lord have you heard of this mm -hmm. what matters to god is whether you worship him or not your words indicate yay or nay well if you don't worship him and you know who we're talking about right god is a spirit they that worship him yes. or not mm -hmm. i find that curious jesus goes on he says you know god is a spirit and he says they that worship him but he doesn't say anything about those who don't silence you know why because they're insignificant they end up in a room of insignificance they that worship him must in spirit and truth those are the ones who go on if you worship the Holy Ghost as God you can go on but if you don't then you're ignorant of him him who Holy Ghost you don't know who he is you don't know that he's God you don't know that he's the Spirit God you don't know that he's the Spirit Lord if you did you would worship him you know there are people who love me they say oh he's great he's one of the best preachers I've ever heard until they all of a sudden hear that I worship the Holy Ghost and then they're like oh what have I gotten myself into I am one of they that worship him I must I worship God the Spirit I must say I must, I must. are you getting that yeah. I must yeah. can't you see that you must worship God the Spirit mm -hmm. I must but those that turn me off when they realize I worship the Holy Ghost they don't worship the Holy Ghost or they wouldn't turn me off would they mm -hmm. Holy Ghost says they don't worship me why because they don't know he's a person they don't know that he's God they think he's an anointing and of course you don't worship an anointing but the Holy Ghost he is a spirit God is a spirit and they that know this worship him say they that know this, they that know this. worship him when you know him as a person as god as the spirit lord things that other people say won't work for you anymore just like they turn me off because i worship the holy ghost you end up having to turn them off because the things they're saying don't add up anymore they don't sound right on this side of the veil everything out there sounds muffled and tinny mm -hmm. now I heard just this last week a message by a very popular preacher if I mentioned their name everyone would know who it was they were at a ministers conference no less and their message was about well what they said was when Jesus was on earth and you could just just listen these are a direct quote when Jesus was on earth he was the power of God in the earth at the time and then when Jesus went to heaven the Holy Ghost came into the earth and then he was the power of God in the earth and is the power of God in the earth and he's everywhere present and all the ministers were yes yes Jesus was not the power of God in the earth That's right. when he was here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he was Jesus anointed which is the power of God anointed by the Spirit Lord yes. That's true. we read Luke 5 17 the power of the Lord was present to heal and then in Luke 4 17 and 18 the Spirit Lord has anointed me to preach yes. Jesus wasn't the power of God in the earth 
and likewise now jesus is in heaven the holy ghost is in the earth the holy ghost is not the power of god in the earth he is god in the earth and he's not everywhere all the time he's not everywhere all the time and his anointing is not everywhere all the time mm -hmm. he can be if he wanted to be that's what omnipresent means means he can be in more than one place at one time but he's not everywhere all the time see see what happens when people say this about him they've taken him out of being god a person and putting him into some kind of substance that's in everything all the time first corinthians chapter 6 verse 19 what know you not that your body is the temple of the holy ghost as well as everybody else's body and every other dog and every other cat is that what this says no. what know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost he's writing to believers who've received the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. he is in them mm -hmm. which means he's not in the others right. are you here yes. is he everywhere all the time no, no not he not him well God is a spirit do you know when I say that who we're talking about the Holy Ghost God is a spirit and they that worship him and Luke 4 8 says thou shalt worship the Lord thy God the Lord thy God who the Holy Ghost and him only serve why he's the only god in the earth today am i getting this across yes. is he an anointing mm -hmm. no second corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 nevertheless when it shall turn to the lord the veil shall be taken away and the veil is something that you that keeps your eyes blinded from something mm -hmm. and when you take it away you see something you didn't see before verse 17 now the Lord is that spirit that's what you should be seeing now mm -hmm. I hope you're seeing it more now than you did before yes. God is a spirit and they that worship him worshiping him takes you behind the veil where you see him as the spirit Lord now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord or where the spirit Lord is there is liberty but we are with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the Spirit Lord well everything changes over here and like I said when you hear people speaking from the other side of that veil who haven't come into this revelation of knowing the Holy Ghost as God and worshiping him as God mm -hmm. say the Holy Ghost as God, the Holy Ghost as God. and worshiping him, as God. worshiping him as God God is the Spirit they that worship him I know God is the Spirit and now I've become one of they that worship him yes. Amen. everything changes and when you hear other people other preachers that have not come to this side of the veil worshiping the Holy Ghost as God something about the way they say things or the words they just doesn't work for you anymore there's something strange about it it sounds thin are you here mm -hmm. they that don't worship him does this exist yes. jesus said they that worship him the spirit god mm -hmm. well if you're not in the they that worship him you're out here somewhere in the they that don't worship him mm -hmm. he's not their spirit lord they've never said those words verse 18 says we are changed into the same image from glory to glory by 
the spirit lord by the lord who is that spirit by the holy ghost who is the spirit god mm -hmm. we're changed from glory to glory by him by knowing him by worshiping him and if you don't you can't go to that next glory Well, I am this. This is what I do. This is not what I used to do. This is not what I used to be. I used to be part of the they that don't worship mm -hmm. the Spirit God. Mm -hmm. Are you here? Yep. But I'm now one of they that do and must worship him they must. must and therefore I can go from glory to glory but it's not what I used to be in those other circles they that don't worship him but I'm here in this circle I'm here worshiping him and I'm here changing the world my world yes but there's two holy ghost i thank you that the world is being changed because you are god and we have the ability to walk with you in the earth like never before we acknowledge you that you are the spirit god that god is a spirit and we are they that worship you and we do so in greater truth and we thank you that this truth is being revealed to us and we can walk in it in greater glory and greater glory until this glory a knowledge of you covers the entire earth and we thank you for it Holy Ghost we worship you in Jesus name Amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost i worship you i am they that worship you and because of that i go forward farther into the things of the spirit god which includes great prosperity great healing great health and supernatural youth renewal i worship you holy ghost in jesus name holy ghost your god in the earth today